Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Iffy is bad at best, but you know, <laughs> it's either Friday football. <laughs> Or it's deer season. You got a rough gig. Yeah, and nobody, and nobody's going to be happy about it. You got to campaign like a politician. <laughs> Don't be mad. Whoa! Me. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about those monthly <laughs> rainfall totals. And again, folks, we're not going to see any more rain. So the final total for October is likely to be 3.96 in Tyler. Now we came up pretty close to normal, which is good news because we need to see the rain in October. Historically, it's one of our wettest months because of the seasonal change that we see from uh, warm temperatures to cool temperatures. So that's what we came up with in Tyler long view. We just cracked that three inch mark at about 3.09 inches, almost an inch below normal and then nearly three inches below normal in Lufkin, which very surprising. Lufkin is usually the wettest out of all of these three cities that you see on the map. But given the fact that we did see a few inches of rain for some locations last Friday, a lot of these burn bans have been dropped. Trinity, Sabine, Shelby and Marion counties still in the burn bans. But again, we've seen some improvements. Still not a very good idea to go out and burn, even if you're not under one of those burn bans. But good idea to go out and trick or treat tonight. Lots of sunshine on our sky view cables, roofing tower cams. So the weather a non factor, but everybody's got to be careful, of course, on any Halloween night. Temperature wise, we are in the 70s right now. Dew points in the 40s and 50s, so it's another dry one, which might inhibit our rain chances for tomorrow. But again, trick or treat forecast looking dry for tonight. Temperature wise, we will be in the 60s. And again, parents, make sure you are being careful with those kits. Incoming storm system. That's where you saw those high clouds on that Tyler Tower cam, and this will bring us a very small chance of rain <laughs> again, folks. Do not cancel those plans because this is not going to be a widespread rain event. So this is eight o'clock tonight. A few of those higher cirrus clouds moving through and then as we head into your Tuesday, we'll see a couple of clouds here and there. A few showers in deep east Texas and then as we roll into your Tuesday afternoon, any sort of rain chance that will move out. We're not going to really see anything widespread, but we will see clouds through at least Wednesday morning. Here are the rain chances for tomorrow. Isolated showers, it's about as good as we do for areas along into the south of I-20. I would say those rain chances improve as you get into deep east Texas, but the better chance of rain will be Friday into Saturday. So as of right now, this can all change but the best chance of rain will be early Saturday morning. For example, this is six o'clock in the morning. The front's going to move from west to east. It advances through the area then and then will be dry for the remainder of the weekend. Now over the next six to 10 days, which starts next Sunday, runs through next Thursday. It looks like we're going to be under a dry spell. And then as we look at those temperatures, I do think those highs will hold into the 70s, so we're not going to see any cold fronts or anything like that. This is very typical of a La Nina where we do see those above average temperatures and that below average rainfall and over your next several days. It reflects all of that very slim chance of rain for tomorrow. Most of us will not see it middle to upper 70s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. There are your rain chances late in the day Friday. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms looking likely Saturday morning in deep east Texas. A passing shower or two for your Tuesday upper 70s, lower 80s Wednesday and Thursday with plenty of sunshine around. The best chance of rain looks to be Friday night into Saturday morning. Neil, where does the time go? We have made it to the final.